Okay, this is. Tady, it's too close. That it is. <laughs> It is quite close. You can you can actually move a bit if you want. Got to move? No, me, you don't want. Me. You can you can stay there if you want. Right. Are you drinking without me? No, I'm not. So yet. can we toast to our first? Official... This is the toast to the first ever podcast. Forgot what we're doing then. Official. Official. So should we jump in? Mm. We're going to jump in. It's <laughs> official. <laughs> it's official, but it is right. We're gonna jump in, and I'm gonna ask you. No, maybe. Go on. No. What? Yeah. You can say like proper British person here. Uh -huh. Proper Eastern European. Yes. Yeah, so I'm two completely opposite worlds That's meeting it. in one podcast. In a, in a good That's podcast. So I'm from Cheshire in the UK. Oh. Currently living in Manchester. You're from. I am originally from Slovakia. Currently living in Manchester. <laughs> and we're going to jump in and talk about how did you get to Manchester? Like what happened? By plane. Yeah, <laughs> I'm shocked. <laughs> is, that the, is that it? The end of the story. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> it. You got here by plane. By plane, yeah. You and know. you don't want to leave. Now. You know what plane is like. Is that, is that Take off. I know, I'm surprised. Yeah. When did you when did you come by plane? When? Yeah. Eight years ago. Almost oh nine. God. No, it's almost oh, in September, nine years anniversary. Wow, I need to cheat now. Nine years in Manchester. Is that something to celebrate, is it? Yeah, I have a lot of to show you in Manchester, so. Oh. So I've been in Manchester for just over a year. And, and why am I here? Why are you here? Come on. Tell you everyone. tell me. What because I'm at? Well, I... Well, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you? Yes, because... Because... When you move to Manchester, what happened? God gave you a gift. Which was you? Yeah. Was it? All right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it was. Um, so, yeah. You want me to talk about how we met? We met on a night out, didn't we? It was a good night for a... Good night, yeah. Very good night. And uh, we've stayed friends ever since, haven't we? I need a drink. <laughs> <laughs> Where's this conversation going? Right. Yeah. Okay, okay. Long story short. Yeah, we stayed Long friends. Long story short. We stayed we met, friends. We met on a night out and then we started hanging out, didn't we? We, st we, we, yeah. we? When I first got to Manchester, I was blasting it when I was going out. We were going out three nights a week, weren't we? Pretty much. Were we? Really? Or was it just me? <laughs> I was going out Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. With you so Every well, yeah. Thursday, I was with you when I. Pretty much for a while. Yeah. Oh, and Alex has come back, by the way, I think. I don't know. I saw her on a dating app this morning. <laughs> I never go on dating apps. Anyway, um, yeah. We went out loads, didn't we, on Thursdays? And yeah. then you used to always join up, some, well, not always, sometimes on Saturday. Yeah. So we spent a lot of time together. But, do you know what? We did, yeah. What? So, a couple of times in a row. Couple of weeks in a row. Couple of weekends oh. in a row. So I was willing to show you Manchester live. Were you? Oh yeah. Did you show me around or not? I, I mean, remember. I mean, Did I showed you places. I took you. Did you? For some events, no. You no, came on this Thursdays because of me. On what? On this Thursday. Night. Oh yeah. So there was a. This is interesting, actually. There's a dating app in Manchester, where you could only speak to girls on Thursdays. And then you went out on Thursday evening to actually meet them in real life. That was a good idea. Thursday actually. up. Yeah. Oh, the problem was that every Thursday it was the same so, people, wasn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. You'd bump into the it same people. So if you slept with a girl on a Thursday night, she was going to be there next week. <laughs> Not that I ever did that, obviously. Didn't I? No, because I was just angry. Why are you him. lying? It's fine. They no, don't I care. Didn't, I didn't. Anyway. It's a bitch. Any <laughs> anyway, <laughs> it was a good idea. <laughs> right. So why don't you tell everyone a little bit about your story? Because I think you've got quite a good story, haven't you? What story would you like to know? But what you don't know is that you are a model, aren't you? Yeah. Yes. Kind of. Yeah, kind yeah. Of. I do model. No, but you I do. did. I was active, more active. Like 
two years ago then lockdown i mean before lockdown i used to do more of modeling jobs but after lockdown i stopped focusing on that career but yeah i still do it if i have some good offers I, I yeah no i think it's really interesting because you do jobs modeling jobs correct me if i'm wrong internationally don't you do it? yeah when i work for some designers yeah, that... like european bridal week what is the best modeling job you ever done then i mean it was recently in was it march yeah or no first of april first of, third of april in germany it was for german designer it was european bridal week in Essen, a little town in germany and it was quite good experience they cut me out they paid for everything i made amazing girls and whole team was just amazing but it was like Hard work. I need to work. How hard, how hard can it be in the night? Stay in high heels for six or eight hours. Okay. Change 2,000 dresses per day. Obviously, beautiful dresses, but at, at the end of the day, you're still tired. You're wearing high heels. You have to be pretty all day long. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'd like, Not me complaining. I love it, but it's tiring. But yeah, that, that's, that's good, actually. Like, it's interesting. Well, yeah. yeah, no, it is interesting. Like, where, where, where does he go from there then? Once the shoot's over, is he anything else to look forward to? Did he ever say like, we'll bring you back for something else? Or yeah, not? if they have more events happening or if they need more models, they contact you. Not individually, like yeah. designer directly message me if I can work for them because I need uh, more models. And to be fair, I agree. sorry, just cut you off. But I've seen, I think I've seen clips of that. Mm -hmm. And it was you, Christian Collard. I think I can say the name. Yeah, Christian you, Collard. Yeah. It looked really good. To be fair, mm -hmm. it did look good. Thank you. No, it was really good event. Well, some um, right. Okay. Let's have a look what we can talk about. What is mustache? Oh, actually, I've got a question about modeling. Did you did you ever get spotted by someone, or did you apply for an agency? How did you even get into it? Uh, I went to agency. Yeah. Did you? Yeah. yeah. What did they say when you went in? I want to be a model. <laughs> yeah, but what did they say? Did they say like you were pretty enough to be a model, or not, or is it not like that? <laughs> what? I don't know. I don't know what this. No, I don't know how it goes. The, they said they wish I came earlier, like when I was very young, like seventeen. Because you know it started in very young age. I My see. modern career is starting really in early age. Because they would have got you loads more work, had you? Yeah, obviously out. I could right. get it maybe on higher level. Yeah. But I'm still happy. I experienced it. It was it's a very good experience. And what did they like ask you for? Did did you have like a portfolio of loads of modeling pictures and stuff? I have, yes. Yeah. yeah. Pictures, videos from different Photographers. Business. Brands. Yeah. Good. Right. Let's skip that a little bit. <clears throat> fitness. Oh, my favorite topic. Is it? I love fitness, yeah. How important is fitness for you then? Very important. I cannot imagine my life without it. No. Mm -hmm. How often do you go then? Try to work out? Five times a week minimum. I go five times What's a week. What's the maximum? Maximum six. Is it? Yeah, I don't go seven times. And my body's tired, tired if I go seven times. To be fair, I've been to the gym quite a few times. How often do you go? Seven. Every day? Pretty much, yeah. I do but you do day. always weight it depends. or also cardio? Well, that's, that, that, is the, that is the discussion. So some days I'll go kickboxing. So if you class that as a, it's a workout, isn't it? You are... Yeah. Destroyed after it is the but, proper work. Yeah. Uh, their body needs rest seven days. Um, it's wrong. Don't go to the gym seven days a week. Your body needs really rest. If sometimes I give myself a day off, but sometimes I go two times a day yeah, because you have nothing else to do. I go two because you have nothing else to do. No, but it's different for men, though, isn't it? I've got nothing else to do. No, it's not different for men. It you is. have nothing else to do. No, because you go to the actually, no, to be fair to you, you do do weights, don't you? I do the, both. I do on weights. Yeah, there's a. Mm. I do both. You do do weights. Sometimes I go for runs. 
What does I play tennis? She plays tennis. Are you any good at tennis? No, but I'm improving. Good. We'll have to have a game. Yeah. Can't we? Again. We could. Um, but yeah, there's quite so you are a proper gym goer, aren't you? Because yeah. you do get some women. Just... I don't know what is proper gym what? girl. Explain me what is proper. You know how I exercise. This... You see me, you see my body yeah, yeah, and yeah. stuff. <clears throat> so you tell me. Because some women go to the gym to do cardio. Yeah, what is cardio? Just... But you you go. You definitely want to get a well toned body, don't you? Do I? Do I? Yeah, because you were doing all the you were doing squats do and I? everything. Well, yeah, but you, you definitely do, don't you? <laughs> you tell me. Yeah, I think she does. <laughs> and there yes, you go. She's got some I muscles. Can. I have my pants in. Next time, maybe I'll show my bicep. But you are, show you are doing. Your bicep. Oh, you don't want to see mine, do you? For the camera. Yeah, show them. Oh, look at that. What is this? This is. Someone Man hit. This is Manchester. Someone hit best. him yesterday. Oh, one woman. <laughs> Where did she hit me? <laughs> Why exactly? Why? Why? Why is she? Why is she? <laughs> just uh, this is going got some, uh, well, <laughs> way. Yeah. Okay. let's go back we're going to get back okay, onto back. fitness back onto fitness Focus. okay, we're okay. Talking, we are talking to people i've got a really interesting question oh. for you and you've got to be completely honest right have you ever put on at any time in your life for whatever reason like quite a lot of weight we put lots of weight yeah have you ever been out of shape i think that I, no <laughs> No. It's the heaviest I have been in my life. How heavy are you? Sorry? <laughs> what do you weigh? What do, what do you weigh? <laughs> Am I allowed to ask that Can question? Can you speak English? What do you weigh then? How heavy? Oh, I don't want to weigh myself. I, it's not important for me. Do you, how, okay then. How do you distinguish that you're heavy? It's 60 heavy? kg for sure. That's not... How tall are you? 174 centimeters. Right. Five, eight in English. Or... Now for most people watching, they will think that you're in shape. If you're five foot eight and you only weigh sixty kg, that's nothing, is it? What's that in stone? No, that's that's good. Wait, I'm on on point. So, in other words, I could cut. <laughs> in other words, you've never put you know put, never put on bad like weight. Like a lot you've of weight. Yeah, maybe when I was like eighteen, between eighteen twenty. But this is when I started with my uh, fitness journey. Like I started to. When I moved out first from my country and my ex-boyfriend, he was really into fitness. So I started mm. to work out with him. In my own interest, I went for runs and I become an active person. And now I can't imagine my life without it. Okay, I've got a question yeah. about that. How do you know or how do you feel, why do you feel like you might be slightly heavier than you'd like to be? Is it, actually you answer, you answer. You, uh, so how many kg I want to... No, but how do you know? You said you don't want to weigh yourself. You don't want to get on the weighing scale. No, but I see. It's like, I what, see. I know. Yes. You do you just feel, feel it on the yes, old... Yes, of course. Do you feel it on the I can't jeans? see like... I can, you can see. You know your body the best. Can you look at the mirror? It's not, yeah, I know. You can see if you're two kilograms up or, or two kilograms down. So Everyone knows. Yeah. And me, especially yeah. when I have like gym, gym girl active person all the time i know but it has lots of to do with diet with nutrition it's so important with active lifestyle depend on your goals honestly yeah, nutrition is important look at that i didn't know this <laughs> that's mine nuts and what you can't see off camera is more absolute film anyway yeah. i can't wait to bite into this so have a bite i'm gonna try all of them can i can i try yeah, go on. what is it she turns up and she brings this. She tells me to buy healthy food for you. Oh. This is oh, from Girls Bakery. Mm. Buy me chocolate chips. Mm. Do you like it or not? Mm. I do like it. <laughs> this sounds like really I do nice. like it. I just never go to bakeries. That is really nice. Mm. You can try this as well. I know mm. definitely I'm going to like this. It's blueberry muffin. But if you want that, you can have that. Some of it. Okay. Mate, well, we can, we're going to share. We can share it. We can share it. Learn how to what share. What is that then? What is this? Cinnamon bun. I share everything. What's that? Oh my God, smell it. 
Da, ești un zis. Da, 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 da. Ok. Actually, yeah. there is something I wanted to say about uh, a big... When, when I know I'm putting on bad weight, this is the easiest way for me to tell, is when my belt, my waistline gets bigger. You know when you find it harder to get into like jeans? your jeans and stuff, you know you're in trouble. That's when you know you need to do something about it. Oh, for me then? Well, actually, oh, no, hold on a minute. <laughs> I'm not in one of them. But I'm not having one of the moments at the moment. But yes, it could happen, mm -hmm. and that's that's no. when I turn it on. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. No, no, no. So that's, uh, this is what I'm saying. I don't rate myself, but I know exactly. Yeah. When I am in a good shape, well, I'm always in good shape. I know that. But yeah, no, I have the same. Have you got a six pack at the moment? Or not? I have. I have. I've got, I've I actually got, took pictures yesterday I've got, I've in the gym. Two I was doing photo shoot in the gym, a sport photo shoot. <laughs> and I think I have lots of muscles already. Like my body is too. I've got a four pack. That's what I've got. My, I fucked the, bo the bottom of my. Uh, you look, have muscle. Yeah, I'm like here. Uh, yeah. Hamstrings, shoulders. Look. <laughs> yeah. Who's that? She's um, my PT. Larissa, uh, my people. Very nice. Can I show you? Yeah. Big picture. So, yeah. And Good. I think I, I don't want to be... I don't, I don't know how to have lots of muscles. I want to still have this nice feminine body, yeah. you know? I don't want to be... I don't eat, think so I'm going to Eat some of that then. <laughs> I don't... Do you know what? This is purely subjective to what you're into. Yeah, it, exactly. You need to as know... As a woman or a man. Yeah, exactly. You have to decide what kind what, yeah, of exactly, yeah. what you like. Because I tried. I've been skinny. I've been not skinny. I've been toned. I've been yeah. just into cardio. So I like good balance. Yeah. Not too much. Not very little. Do you want that? Which one? Uh, no, I can have it. Uh, okay. Mm. Mm. Right. Oh. Can people hear us? One, two, three. Mm. So tonight you go for a run. Mm. After you finish this. Possibly. Walk. I might go to the gym again. Maybe you can walk me go. home. Maybe you can walk me home. I want you home. I can, I can do it if you want. So you burn some I want to get a taxi back. <laughs> <laughs> I can do it. I can do it if you want. Literally. Give you some entertainment on the walk back. Yeah. Yeah. You'll like that, won't you? Yeah. Yes. Entertainment always. <laughs> right. So we get and to the And you like the good company? Yeah, of course. Am I good co I have a question. Steve? Go on, yeah. Am I good company? No. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I'm I not couldn't offended. say yes then. Of course you could come for me. No, you don't have to say yes. Just be honest. I will be not upset, no offense. Yeah. Be honest. Okay, let me have a think. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Pate, you are a good company. But that's why we don't spend time together. Yeah, okay, I can, I can do with it. You should do I, should it. I have another? I've upset her now. No, he didn't. <laughs> yeah, no, we spent quite a lot of time together, haven't we? How we do this? What are you doing? No, we need knife. Do you have knife? Yeah, I've got a knife. Do you want a knife? You, should, you, wanna, you, you hmm. said you want to try it. Do you want a knife? Yeah. We're 19 minutes in. So, everything's good. There you go. Right, so we're going to get on to the most interesting bit now. Yeah, go on. <coughs> I will sort out my business. <clears throat> oh, I hope my head's not getting chopped off. Right, okay. No, you can... So, we're going to get on to the most, potentially the most interesting part All right. of this whole podcasts right. this is for me the most this is the best bit it's the bit she's been looking forward to all day on you right okay i'm gonna jump straight yeah. in when it comes to dating men do you have a type or not mm -hmm. do you do you have a type i have a type but have... <laughs> Go it's on. also not about type but i do have I, I i do want to hear this actually go on Go on, just tell me, tell me yeah. what you think your type is. I think 
Där för skin. Där här. Vad? Maybe mustache. Maybe they or bear how we call this. Bear. Bear. Yeah. Exotic. Well, like, not an English guy then. <laughs> <laughs> no, it can Medi be English. It could be. But Cause maybe the roots will be from not England. Right? This is interesting, Matt. This is a fascinating topic to me because I think, yeah. in my, based on my experience, that women sometimes think they know what they're after, but then go after a completely different guy. Yeah, because if you want something, probably your type is not the right fit for you. You have to change the type. <laughs> So I have type, I have someone, like, if I look at the guy, yeah, he's like attractive and tough, yeah. but at the same time, it's not the most important thing. Doesn't turn around. Which, <laughs> this is why this is fascinating, because I've got some questions for you. Yeah. Oh, and it'd be on. interesting to hear the answers, Yeah. to see how much you truly believe what you're saying. Is All right. right. Yeah? yeah. Go on. Right. Yes, okay. Does it matter how tall the guy is? Yes. I mean, yes. But I had ex-boyfriend who was short, you believe? Doesn't mean not together. <laughs> so, really? Really? Be honest. <laughs> was no, it a little, was it one of the reasons? That's so. why they have not, I wasn't that heartbroken. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> well, wasn't the best she, thing. Yeah, but so basically, in my experience, women in general, I think it's fair to say this, would like to be with a guy that's taller than them, in general. Yeah, taller or the same height, it's fine. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but I, bear in I mind, agree with that. There is one other thing though, with that, isn't there? So, the, so when you go on a night out with a girl, or wherever, often she might put three inch heels on or five inch heels. And you're in trouble, aren't you? As a guy, you have to be. You you need to be quite tall then to be bigger than the girl. I like, don't know if you're in trouble. You already know. How you, tall are you then? Five eight. Five eight. Five eight point five. Probably. But Between when you, five eight and nine. Yeah, if I put high heels, I'm. You are quite tallest. big. Big. Not, not as big as me. Tall. Not, not as big as me. Let's call it tall. Tall. I'm tall. Yeah, I'm tall. I'm modest. <laughs> yeah, when I put high heels on, I'm. I'm always the tallest friend. <laughs> Oh, really? Like, girl on a girl's night out, I'm always the tallest. Interesting. Yeah. I've been out with Tall. girls, yeah. Taller than me? Yeah. Taller than me or six probably... Foot. Six yeah. foot. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. quite tall. Six foot yes. Without heels. Without heels, wow. Yeah. Models? One, well, UK's top model. Also, <laughs> can I drop in that in? All right, I don't know about this kind of story. Yeah, that's one. But there was another lady. Yeah, she was. She wasn't a model, but she. I think she could have been. But her chosen career was somewhat different. But yeah. Um, yeah. So. Love the attention. Let's just say that. Anyway, um, so it like it's been confirmed that height potentially can make a difference to you. Yeah. It's true. And I, think, I can Yeah, and I think it's fair to say most people would say that as well. This is going to be yeah, but sometimes yeah, but sometimes you know, a guy is very attractive and he has everything, everything, and just high is missing. Yeah. Can I say it like that? Yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah. I will. I will be still interested. Yeah. It will not make him like less interesting person. Yeah. But if he has this. Something. Shouldn't I say quoi? Okay. Let's, say. Let's. Okay. What sorry. about? Does it matter how much um, money the guys go? How do you know these kind of things? <laughs> you can't even answer that. Question. Unless the unless he tells you straight away, I have a lot of money, or <laughs> no, but you can figure it out. But yeah. How much of and I, I, I know it's difficult. Honestly. Yeah. If it's matter, like obviously it matters in the sense like he needs to have enough for living good life. Yeah, yeah. At least 
Little bit better than me. Yeah, I, I get it. Because I I believe that men supposed to be provider. I am this kind of woman. Do you know what? It's funny actually, because I was laughing when I was answering asking that question, because I didn't want to make you feel uncomfortable. But you said what I probably expected you to say, and I I'm not sure, but like in, yes? in my experience, in my experience, most if not all Eastern European women. Yeah. Would say the same thing. Like, as what yeah, you just it is. Said. Yeah, yeah. It is, but it's not yeah. the most important thing. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if many <laughs> if I meet men if he's rich or no. It's just yeah. about his personality first, and then you you go for days, you get to know each other. Then you figure it out. Just think about it. it's not like something I focus on. As yeah. soon you like someone, it doesn't actually matter really. Yeah. Obviously, unless he's not broke with uh, some debts and stuff. Obviously, yeah. it makes him an attractive yeah. person. But obviously, it's. You want to have a good life, yeah? Yeah. Let's be honest. Want the best life. Best of the best. The best of the best. Happy life. That's it. So, yeah. which brings us on to, what are the most attractive traits in a man for you? Smile. <laughs> the, when you first well, meet someone, maybe. Yeah, it needs to have something like personality, smile, charisma. Yeah. I think you know when someone is charismatic, straight away. Yeah. You can see the aura, the energy, the vibration. It, mm. For me, it's very important. You can observe these things. Yeah. So. Am I right? Yeah, you're right. Can you? <clears throat> I can, yeah. But. <laughs> it so doesn't seem it, impressed. No, 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 I get it. Yeah. Energy is massive. I, I, I um, big yeah. believe in that. But when you get past that initial phase, then. Yeah. Uh, so you're attracted to a guy. After that bit, is there anything that a guy could do that you would find attractive, or is it all about when you first meet someone? Yeah, he can improve. I give. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he can. He can prove me wrong. Let's be honest. Why? What do you mean, prove you wrong? It's like, <laughs> <laughs> like sometimes I'm not gonna lie. I'm not angel. I miss up judge people yeah because mm. we are judgy mm. human beings we judge sometimes it's in our unconscious mind right mm. and then i'm like okay let's give this person a chance and you meet second time third time and then actually you realize oh this person actually it's very different of what you thought it, it is actually what could he, he do then to make you feel like that just give them chance mm. Yeah, and have zero expectations from the people. When you have expectations, that's yeah, killing point, I think. In general. I yeah, think. it's not just about like men, mm. women, world relationships, but you, mm. if you have zero expectations, it's, I think, a very good way to live your life in general. Okay. Yeah? What? <laughs> <laughs> How many calories? Okay, <laughs> not much. No. What do <laughs> What do men do that you think is hot? It's hot. Yeah. What What gets you going? Oh my god! <laughs> Never thought about it. <laughs> um, oh. What can you do? I don't know. You know. Good conversation. When he's into, oh. when he showed his interest. In like, you. Yes, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, if he's like interesting and he's giving you some attention, like, it shows you, like, oh, actually, it's worth it to invest. Interest in you or interest in? Do you know what I mean? Like, interest in me. Like, he, he so, really, also interesting. He needs to be an interesting person for me. Yeah. But for everyone, it's interesting something else. It means something else. You know what I mean? I get you. But there is a risk for a man. In my experience, yeah, you, you have show, to risk. You have to the, risk. <laughs> the risk is if you show. Uh, to be fair, I probably don't suffer from this. But if you showed the female too much interest, she and might there we not, go. You yeah. might be less interested. Do you know what I mean? It's not true. If interest is from both sides, it can be very mm. easy. Yeah, I agree with that. If it's the same interest, it's, it can be very yeah. easy. But this modern world, 
yeah, yeah. is used to play games. Oh, no, I'm not going to show interest. I'm going to play hot and cold. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Honestly, we are adults. Where does that stem from, though? We are adults. Does it stem from the lady? Yeah, we are I, adults. I think, I think it possibly stems from the women, though. Yeah, but no, from all of them, you cannot put everyone in one box. Do you think it might include the men then? Because men are logical thinkers. So we just say, we, we, we can easily say to you, look, I want to get with you, I want to take you out, whatever. That's it, that's end that's of it. the story. Yeah, that's you it. want men, that's it. But with you guys. But you know what these, uh, but, oh, you know what I want to know? Mm. With the girls. If you're not interested in a girl, mm. you really want to pursue maybe some relationship or some deeper connection what are you gonna do about it if it does you don't want to just live with her it's not just about sex honestly from a man's point of view i would take her and i'd probably take her out and do some activities with her you know like life experiences activities life experiences yeah yeah what else? So it Activities. could mean, <laughs> well, you'd find out what she's into. Yeah, yeah. So, for example, one of the ladies I'm dating at the moment likes tennis. You like tennis too, don't you? You're so talking. I'd probably suggest. He's not talking about me, don't worry. Yeah. I'd probably suggest to have a game of tennis with her. Or oh. if she was into, I don't know, hiking. I love hiking. Not, not that I'm into He's hiking He's not talking about me still. No. You like hiking? I love hiking. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Any kind of activity in tennis. I'm not into hiking anyway. Oh, <clears throat> of course you're not. He's just biceps, triceps. Triceps, big triceps. <laughs> no, but yeah, I'd get to know her on that level. I think, I think there's more than just getting to know someone on a surface level. So yeah. I do, I do stuff that she enjoys. It's not all about doing stuff what she enjoys. Don't get me wrong. You can do, you can do all the fancy stuff. But you, you have know. to see interest from her side as well, right? Yeah, you can't just give it to her. Because then she's not gonna respect you. You got, you got to make. Yeah, you have to build respect, obviously. Obviously. But so it's not about. And the last thing you want to do as a guy is go out and I'm gonna like this one. Treat, treat the lady when she hasn't earned it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. True. Because if you meet a guy, you know. But if you meet a guy <laughs> and he goes and does everything for you, like straight away, you probably won't respect if I let him. him. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and you'll let him do it. You will let him do it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. That's why you get like loads of rich men that struggle with women because they don't know what to do and it's a bit shit. But it's the truth. All right. Anyway. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Definitely. I think. I thought so. I needed someone. You rich. told me a story recently about some guy that was oh. had a bit of money that was after you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And you were enjoying yeah, the good times, weren't you? We were enjoying good times. <laughs> no, as in his 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 lifestyle. You were enjoying his lifestyle. Weren't you? <laughs> Where was it? Was it in Ibiza or no? I don't know. You told me something. Oh, on Ibiza? That Where was, was my it? friend's house. No, was it one before Ibiza? No, I didn't get to you were meet this us, You were telling us this really good story. Like this guy was like giving you this amazing lifestyle, saying, go here, go there, do this, do that. And then he tried it on with you and you weren't interested. No, he wanted to... No, it no? wasn't like that. Are you sure? Yeah, no, it wasn't like <laughs> no, it wasn't like that. It was this guy who lives in New York. Hopefully, never seen this. He will never see. No, he just won't always me to fly out, go with him on holidays and stuff. But I don't go. I because I'm not interested. His personality is not suitable for to me. To be fair, I didn't. I don't understand how he doesn't get it. That wasn't the story. I don't think it was that. It was somewhere else. You were definitely in another country experiencing something. No, I wasn't, definitely. Are you not? Did really? someone else? No, but he was like at work or something, and you were like, "No, really." <laughs> you did, All right, you got something mixed up. No. Anyway, okay, right. Yeah. Are we going to get onto the more fun stuff then? You made me think now. You were honestly. You thought you forgot about it. Yeah. No, okay. you don't forget. I didn't forget. It wasn't the New York guy. Anyway, right. This is a bit of an odd one. <laughs> we can just go that way. Okay. It's <laughs> panicking. Mm. Not because I don't <laughs> know what he's talking about. It's not true. He mixed up something. No, it's definitely you. Anyway, right. Yeah. It was when we did the podcast with Craig last time. Anyway, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. You were talking about something. 
Yeah, you have to listen. Yeah, you have to listen. Okay. Um, when it comes to men's hairstyles, okay. Have you got anything you like or preferences? No, it doesn't no, matter. No, you're not bothered. It's like what it suits you. Yeah, what suits your face? And then I mean, maybe yeah. mean you wear hair down with curls or maybe ponytail. It's not. It it's matter. not any preferences. You know what suits you the best. So. Okay. Mm-hmm. When you like a guy, yeah. what signs do you give off to the guy that you like him? <laughs> my smile, my time, my time. attention, messages, <laughs> dates. No, he, in my, he needs to invite me for a date. I was going to ask that. Do you, would you ever contact him first before he contacted you? Depend. Yeah, if if it's very interesting, yeah, to be honest, if it's someone interesting, you'd probably make I probably would that move. Do for, yeah, first move. But if I do first move and I don't see interest from other side, I will probably just stop. I will not yeah, like continue. Yeah, yeah, because I'm a woman. There's some respect for myself. Okay. And on the flip side of that, if a guy was pursuing you and you weren't interested, what signs would you give off that you weren't interested? Say again? Like, how would you show a guy that you weren't interested in him? I would go on a date with him. Would you? You go on a date with him even if you're not interested? Uh, if I'm not interested. If you're not interested. Ah, uh, no, I will just tell them. I will be very honest. Like, would I'm not interested. Yeah, I will just uh, tell them, like, oh, I'm not interested or... I would just not pursue anything, like not even conversation. So you basically, if he messages you, you just won't reply? Or would you reply? No, I'm, uh, yes and no. Depend if it, what stage is it. If we talk or went for a date and I see that it's not working, mm. I probably will leave it in very neutral way, neutral conversation, or I will not to try to make effort to meet him again or stuff like this. Okay. But yes, lots of times I message guys that I'm not interested or this is what I want and if you are not on the same page, that's not how, it, how it's going to work. And then they usually shit themselves, they're scared, and they don't even reply. What? They don't even reply. They don't oh, I see. Even... To, when, you, when you tell them that, did they not? Yeah, like, really? uh, yeah, because it's scared. They how would... to men up. Oh. Yeah, message them. Like, it happened a few times. I message them like, look. Um, this is not what I want. It made me. I don't like this kind of meetings. Up mi- meeting meetings. <laughs> my English. <laughs> so I don't like this kind of meeting. When for two hours and bike. I don't like it. And okay, be honest with yeah. this one. Have you ever told a guy that you weren't interested, and then maybe at some point done a complete U-turn and thought, shit. I actually might have made a mistake there and tried to go back to him. No, no, I don't think so, no. Really? No. Interesting. It happens. It happens. happens. No, no, it didn't happen to you. Didn't happen to you. Not yet. (laughs) Not yet. Hopefully we're not there. No. Okay, I think we've covered that. Definitely that's the same thing. All right. (laughs) Okay, show a guy that you like him. You've already said that, right? Haven't you? Okay, I've got one. <clears throat> What's the best way a guy can approach you on a night out? If a guy saw you in a bar and he likes you, how would you like to be approached? Very easy. If I like him too, I like him back. There is mutual eye contact. It's very easy. You just come, talk to me, and we have conversation. That's it. It's very easy. He asked me, obviously. It's good if he asked me, like, would you like some drinks? I start. But. Right, okay. <laughs> I, I get that. But there'll be some guys out there that'll just see you and go, I'm, go, I'm going. Like, they'll just head towards you without even making. So you like it if the guy makes eye contact yeah. first before coming over? No, I mean, if he, someone comes to me suddenly, just because he's interested, and I see that okay, yeah. I maybe have a little conversation, and if I'm interested, yeah, I, I don't mind to have company. Or okay, then 
let's say the guy's in the bar, you're in the bar, yeah. you, he's looked over to you, you're yeah. interested. Yeah. How would you show your interest? Would you like... Eye contact. I just stay, I, you're I staying contact. eye yeah, contact. Yeah, yeah, I will, like, keep staring, well, staring at him. <laughs> I'm going to scare him. <laughs> <laughs> if I don't like it. <laughs> Look at him. Would you ever, like, wave uh, him over or not? Yeah, well, I, pro- I will go or he, I think you can read what yeah, the yeah, temple yeah. doing, it's right? So I will allow him to, like, I would say, like, you can read yeah, yeah. the language. So I, he will know, like, if you're interested, Maybe he can come over if he's on the other side of the bar, or I will go over to yeah. see to check the situation. That's interesting, right? How many times then have you been in that situation, and the guy hasn't come over for whatever reason? Does it happen much or what? Because for some guys, it's quite a big step, a big step to come over and chat to a stranger. So, has it happened or not? Not often. If it happened, probably it's not important because brutal. <laughs> <laughs> if he's not interested and you are so why why would I pursue someone who's not interested and there's too many people in the club or bar did you hear that um, I mean you need to use your chance if you yeah. see one attractive woman you want her don't be scared just go and approach you will not lose anything your ego oh my god just go and talk to her just try it doesn't have to mean anything you just go and try because then Guys, like up to my nipples, come to me and talk to me. They ask me questions, and I'm like, "How come are you still talking to me?" <laughs> I, honestly, last night I went out and there was one guy. What happened last night? Come on, fill me in. What happened? <laughs> I didn't go out last night, by the way. I, so I kept out. Of I still, I was like resting at the bar, just didn't get anyone to dance. <laughs> I, I was taking break, and the one guy, I think it doesn't matter nationality, was up to my nipples. And he came to me, he started to talk to me, but my body language was really closed. I didn't try to pursue any conversation, or, yeah. but he kept asking me questions. Then he asked me, are you married? I was like, no. Are you engaged? I'm like, yes. <laughs> so I just wanted him to leave, literally. And he was like, oh, really? Congratulations to your engagement. Me, I was just hiding my fingers because I didn't have yeah, any ring. Yeah. I didn't get it. And then he still have some, he still was giving me some questions. And I was like, I don't want to talk. I'm sorry. Like, mm-hmm. I can't even hear you properly because it was club. We, mm. we were in the club. And he, but I have some questions. I'm like, no. Do you know what? The fair play to him for having a crack. So what but, do I do? Obviously, so I, I don't, I'm not like mean, but yeah, I have to really honestly tell the, some mm-hmm. guys like, sorry, I don't want to talk to you. Like, mm. I am not interested. Just leave me alone. I, so it at what time? At what time was it? So I'm gonna be. Get, was this towards the end of the night? This is in revs, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So it's late in the day, basically. So maybe he'd been drinking all night. He plucked up the courage to speak to the woman of his dreams. Probably was sober. Oh, I, <laughs> 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 no, it's just you know sometimes it's like yeah, I know. I was with a girl, with my friend, and I know. you know just read what the language. But the biggest takeaway I think from that was. If you're a guy and you see someone you like, just and she gives you the signal, you go, don't you? You go without thinking. Yeah. You or go just all go, in. Just go to try. Just say hi, and you will see if girl's interested or not. If she say hi, the way how she talk, start to talk to you. And if she's not interested, what you do if is she engage some conversation with you, and she's not. She will let you know she's not like you will read it. Honestly. How much of it is what the guy says though? I, I've experienced going up to girls on a night out where I'm not sure if they might like me when I first speak to them, but after speaking to them for a bit, they come round and mm-hmm. they like you. They like you. Yeah. So they had to first go back and thought about, <laughs> think about it. No, to be they fair, that <laughs> rarely ever happens. Don't let us walk up and get with me straight away. But I'm, I'm just saying, if someone puts up a fight, I feel like you can talk. <laughs> You gotta say the right thing. <laughs> it's when your personality comes out. Oh my god, out. he's gonna hate me. Don't hate me. No, what do you mean? I was you? joking. Why? I was just joking. No, it's all right. Yeah. You're always joking, joking, aren't you? Right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. Fucking a complete change, right? Okay. Yeah, this is good. Bottom line out. is. Bottom line is. The bottom line is if you're a guy and you see a girl like an. No, you, 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 you hunt, have nothing to you lose. You hunt her down. Yeah, you've got go. nothing to lose. Just go. Um, Get your chance in. 
We're going to switch it a little bit here and we're going to talk about dating apps because I know you love talking about dating apps, don't you? I love it. Love you don't know me subject. good enough. <laughs> I don't like dating apps. Right, okay. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, no. Okay. On dating apps, yeah. I know you don't like dating apps, but when you're on dating apps, like what 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 do you what do you look for? for what do you look for on a profile? Like what's important for you on so, a profile? This is this the is thing golden. is that's why I hate dating apps because for me it's just about swiping. I like him, I don't like him. I like him, I don't like him. I like him. It's like I think it's total nonsense. Okay, but what what makes you like someone? Look, this is a like super judge. I'm super judgy bitch. So you don't read can the description, that? yeah? You can. You don't read the description. You just look Sometimes at the Sometimes I do. Okay. But most but, first is first impression is the first picture. It it does the job. Do you ever so? If and it, guys, <laughs> usually you guys, you are very bad at pictures. Sorry to say that. I agree. But okay. you look much better in real life than on uh, Tinder apps or whatever. Tinder apps. I don't Wait, have Tinder. Do you know what? Uh, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> That's massive because there's loads of guys that don't know how to take the picture. Yeah. And there's loads of women that make themselves look probably better than what they are. All right. A um, question. Yes. Do you have lots of experiences when you match someone on dating app? You went for a date and it, she was looking completely enough. Like, co completely yeah. enough. Complete, sorry. Different. Completely different. And you've been yeah. like, what the fuck? I'm yeah. going home? Or you uh, still give her a yeah. chance? Or it was better, and it if it was answer? better or <laughs> no. worse, what well, you expect it? It's only happened to me twice, maybe three times maximum. They were all relatively not very good experiences, I'll be honest. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, but well, you made the effort. You might as well just. I tell you, what, one of them was pretty. When I say bad, it wasn't like bad. You know, I can get on with anyone, but. Yeah. It put me off. To, I didn't go on a dating app for about nine months after it because I just thought I can't. Yeah, have you done it? That happened to you? Absolutely. Has it? No. Yeah, it, I, honestly, it, it was a bad one. But you've like, been frustrated. Been, I, you've been frustrated. Well, no, she. Well, it depends which one you're on about. Um, I, All right. But I, I do remember going to see one, and I was, I was looking at her, thinking, I can tell it's her. She looks like the girl in the picture a little bit, yeah. but maybe it was from like three years ago and since then she's put on a bit of weight. And I was there sitting there thinking, what am I going to do? Here? Should I leave this date? All right, what did you do? Or should I just embrace it for what it is? And I remember I just embraced it for what it is, but then it just went bonkers. Like, well. I, I came out of the day and she, she tried to take me back to this hotel. So it was bad. It was bad, but I got to the hotel with her. You got. I got as bad this. You see, I can't remember saying the story. I, I got to the hotel shot. and then I, I, I was like, "What am I doing there?" And I got, I left her at the hotel. But I don't know. And you left? Yeah, actually, I couldn't go through with it. Yeah, I? well, fair enough. You've been even. In an, I, 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 <laughs> you mean? I think <laughs> even. <laughs> what, sort of, what sort of date was it? I don't know. It's just bonkers. Anyway, long time ago that was. was. Is he still working? With my hair on it, I don't know it's what. So on the date, so on dating profiles, you'll have a look at the first picture. If you don't like it, you're gonna pretty much say no. You, you see, is this attraction? First attraction. The pictures are. I'm not saying the most important, but if you have, you see, and this is when I find myself being mm -hmm. judgy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But you want to see my profile? My fish. God, I've got an amazing dating profile. You? Yeah, amazing. Can I see? Yeah. Got it. Well, I actually, actually, yeah, I, I can't. It's on the phone. Yeah, I'd like to show you it. Maybe I, 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 I've seen it somewhere on some. No, I don't think so. Not yeah. this one. This is like groundbreaking. This is like game. So, changing. active dating lifestyle. You, you are. I. I can, honestly, I can't go on dating apps now without getting. I don't grass. know. I just give up with dating apps. I don't. I You're prefer joking. to go out. Okay, yeah. how, so you are like fully into dating apps. No. No, you see how many times I go out. No, I'm not. You're always but, on date when I message you. Yeah, because that's because of my profile. So my profile is amazing. So, yeah, you go on a date every time. This is what I'm talking about. I get a lot of interest. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
it's fine. It All right, so basically, no shame. if you're a guy, make sure your pictures are amazing. If Even if you have to hire... Ask your girlfriend to take... Like, girlfriend. I mean, friend. Yeah, but girlfriend. some guys don't have girlfriends. Do so you know then, I, mean? I you think guys, friends. Ask your mum. No, well, I, <laughs> I've, I've got an idea for you. For about 200 quid, maybe less, go and have a, a photo, a proper professional photo. <laughs> Or, photograph yeah. shoot, you may as well yeah, do. No, no. Yeah, why not? I mean, yeah, but... Well, <laughs> or... Something that would invest money. Yeah, in. to be fair, you can do it without that, can't you? Ask your good uh, guy friends. Why not? And to be fair, if you have got any girlfriends, they always want to take pictures wherever you go, don't they? Yeah, so they are happy to help, definitely. And they definitely will yeah. help. Some of my best pictures are from women. Yeah, you see? Yep. Yeah. In fact, all my dating app pictures are from my friends. But anyway, so yeah, that's I have top to set to take pictures of you then. Do you want to take pictures of me? No. No, you do. For 200 quid, yeah? <laughs> How much are you charging? I can take some good pictures, you know. I used to do photography for about seven years. Really? So when I was out in France. Really? Why don't I know about this? You don't know. No, you never told me this. Yeah, seven years. Okay. Amazing. It's good, yeah. To, to be fair, it was a long time ago, and the world's moved on since then. But then again, you still, you, I'm still okay anyway. Right, so we're going to move on, big quick. Um, this is going to be interesting for me because I don't think this is often talk about. We can have a break. Should we have a break? No, okay. have a break. Let's have really? a break. Yeah. So I'm right at the end. No, let's just keep going. We can have a break in a second. Ready? Don't put this in. <laughs> yeah, tell me. What would you like men to do on a date? Like? Go for dinner, maybe, or drink. Drink, no. Oh, on the first date? Or drink, yeah. A drink? Drink or dinner, yeah. To have some time together. And have, like, some nice conversation so we can actually get to know each other, you know. Have one private conversation. Mm. Yeah, maybe drink. For me, dinner is too intense, but I still will call. But I prefer like drink, but in not in very loud club, you know. It doesn't make sense. Yeah. So maybe glass of wine somewhere in some quiet bar. What about know, coffee? Like, Would you do that? It can be coffee every <laughs> daytime, not evening, you know. Might yeah, be yeah. daytime, like. Or for a walk, I would love that. Like coffee, take away maybe or some ice cream. Why not go for a walk? Oh god, coffee. that sounds good. Yeah. Ice cream. Never thought about doing an ice cream day. Why not just go for a walk? You have ice cream in this nice garden, but in Manchester, unfortunately, <laughs> you it's not. have. To. But coffee, it can be. Yeah, coffee days. It's, it sounds good for me. Yeah. Okay, what is your best ever first date? Remember it. Apart from me, obviously. Oh. Yeah, yeah, it was very good date, <laughs> but everything else wasn't. <laughs> no, what do you mean? Not me, just like any date. I had a good date, yeah. What was the best ever date? It was first date when after my breakups. Yeah. You know, like from long term relationships, and then I decided obviously to go on dating apps and. I went for a date with one guy. First time I went to like first place. We had I was so innocent at this time. <laughs> he went for a very nice to a very nice place for drinks. It was very busy, but it was at the same time very like me only me and him, you know, like it was lots of people around. Mm -hmm. We've been talking, having the drinks, lots of fun. I know, it, it went well. It was really good date. I was I, I still remember the date, but everything else was awful. But this day was at uh, this day was just perfect for me. I loved it. Is it because of what you were going through at the time? Yeah, because I didn't know this dating world. So for oh. me, it was like, oh my god, this world is amazing and many. I was so impressed. And now, if I have this like date like this, I'll be like, okay, I'm not impressed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I was I was inexperienced. Oh, right, okay. But now, yeah, but it was a really good date. When Have you had any like crazy dates where a guy will fly you into another country and. I could, but I didn't. Don't want to. Yeah, I didn't want to. 
Ajko što je Hadži počinu stanu. Ovo je bilo što je Walk, when you went just for a walk. A walk. Good. I didn't date that much, you know. I've got a good date story. I was once in Las yeah, Vegas. Have I told you this one? Oh, <clears throat> I was in Vegas and I was meeting up with this girl and she missed a flight because she was flying in to go on a date with me. And You flied her out? No, she was flying in. Oh, okay. <clears throat> and she missed a flight and said, I'm sorry today, I can't meet you. I'm going to send a replacement. Sent a replacement. Some Russian lady turned up. Ooh. I know, she's a really nice girl. What the heck? I know, yeah. <laughs> She was a resident at the MGM. No, really? her sister was a resident at the MGM Grand. All so right. she walked into like the most amazing, uh, classy bar. Well, God, this is going back about ten years, and it was like twenty-five dollars a drink even then, even ten years ago. So it was yeah. expensive. Eighty percent of the room was women, dripped in jewels. She walked in in her wow. joggers and a dog. I was like, "What?" This is your name. Yeah, no, yeah, but she was ridiculous. She was like really nice and. We had a good good crack. Yeah, because she was different, you see? Yeah, she was nice. Don't judge. And then we went Don't out. Don't judge book by its cover. Oh, she knew what she was doing. Next day, went out with her. Then came back from Vegas and I flew her in. To the UK. Well, I didn't fly her in, actually. That's a lie. She was in Italy. She f and then I said, why don't you fly in to see me? And she flew in. And then, yeah. That's interesting. But... I used to always, do, <laughs> I used to always do international dates back in the day. I've got loads of them. Okay. I won't share them all. I today. will have to do interviews. I've got loads. Of I will next time. I you interview me. I've got yeah, some amazing stuff. Yeah. I want to know. Good dating stories. You okay. Have to prepare pictures for me. Well, I do you know. I have still got some. Um, all right. But when I got my phone robbed the other night, I lost pretty much 15 years of videos and photos but mm -hmm. I've, thankfully i've got them on that computer over there okay, back up of some of them yeah. some 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 famous uh models actually 15. that you might know which one well i'll show you in a minute victoria secret uh she could be <laughs> right anyway okay let's ah this is really interesting for me actually what could a guy do on a first date to guarantee, which is tough, but to guarantee a second date? Like, is there anything he could do? He can do. Yeah. To spark your interest, you know, to keep you interested. It's about the flow. So it's literally all about the vibe on the first date, yeah. Yeah, it's about vibe, flow, how you communicate, how it goes. And then if you really like this person and you you look at this person like, oh, someone interesting. Like, interesting or interesting? Interesting. Interesting. So, yeah. interesting. How do you say? Interesting. Someone interesting. So I think from a guy's point of view, because us, us guys, we think logically, there'll be guys out there that thinks, oh, if I just did the date like this, or I prepared this after this, and you know what I mean? Like, if I'd just done this, it might have been different. But what you're saying is, it's not necessarily about where you go or what you do. It's more no, no, about no. It's you, about yeah, how you get on. Yeah, it's uh, definitely not about where you're going, what you're doing. It's about energy, about the uh, vibe, about how the, how this person makes you feel. That's very important thing. Yeah. If he if he's capable of listening or listen yeah. to you, yeah. if he sees you as a woman, you know, if he gives you this importance as well, like he's having a good time with you, you will know. You feel these things deep in your heart. You know this. You know this. I know it. I know it, but a lot of people won't, which is, this yeah, is why this is this interesting. Is, you have to get uh, educate or try yeah. experience. Experiences are very important. Right, okay, I think I'm on the last question. I keep looking over here because I'm a Laptop soon, I've got questions on it. Anyway, um, <laughs> look at you, <laughs> you can be better. Okay. <laughs> You've had a few good dates with a guy, right? You've what? You've had a few good dates with a guy. Yeah. But you're still dating or in a situation. Yeah. How does a guy tr transition 
from the situationship to a relationship? I don't really know. Do you not know? No. <laughs> because it didn't happen to me lately, like four years already. So uh, I didn't date so seriously, mm. very seriously. Um, it's hap- it will, from my previous or last relationship, it was just very natural. Mm-hmm. It just, we knew, like, yeah. we want to be together, we move in together. And yeah. It was about communication, you know. And then you just work together. It's like yep. you don't have to do anything. Like you know, if it's there, it's there. So yeah, if you're willing to spend time with this person, you're willing to do sacrifice your time for this kind of person. I'm I'm not saying like you have to sacrifice, but actually want to. If you like someone, you really want to meet them. Like you really want to spend time with them, even you don't have lots of times left in a day or your life schedule, whatever. But if this person is really important for you, you will. Mm. Fine. And do you know what? There's so many people online that talk about you can't, as a guy, you won't know this, but yeah. you can't show too much interest, you can't do this, you can't do that. But in my experience, what you've just said is probably what I've experienced with women. When you know, you know, don't you? Like, yeah. there's no pissing around. Yeah, we around. know, we know, we know. There's no the messing way. around. Oh, but sometimes it <clears> happened to me. I wasn't like impressed, but then I gave someone chance and after two, three times I was like, oh, this person has something, like, I'm going to try it. Oh, you mean some guy was pursuing you? Yeah, and you weren't that so bothered. I gave chance and he tried to find this something, because sometimes happen, you know, and then after two, three times, so we need to give a little bit of time, sometimes, not all the time, and then, yeah, you're like, oh, I've been a little bit wrong. Sometimes okay. we give it that's interesting. So yeah, basically, it can happen, you can a, bit, change it. a bit of persistence there. But what happens on the other way around? Have you ever been with a guy who showed, if the, if he can show too much interest, would it put you off? If it, yeah. Would it? If he doesn't show interest, yeah. No, if too he, much interest. Uh, like, is it ever something? Ah, uh, too way? much interest. Uh, mm, depend. If is person I really also am mm. very interested in. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's but too much, what do you mean too much? Like, if he's crazy, I'm not replying, and he's over, over <laughs> replying to me, it's crazy. <clears throat> well, over. there's a, re- I don't know, you're a girl, so I, I don't know what you've experienced, but maybe some guys have said quite quickly that I really like. Uh, yeah, and if I, I like, like it, but it's just amazing, you know, you're on the same page. Yeah. That's it, easy. Well, sometimes it happens that uh, you're on the same page, and suddenly you're not. I guess the risk there is, if you're, if you're, say, if we went on a couple of dates and I really liked you, for example, mm-hmm. and I might go too fast and go, I really like you, I want to go out with you, and you're like, not there yet, then you're going to distance yourself, aren't you? You're going to be like, shit. Yeah, maybe. Maybe, so yes, just, uh, a little bit. Yeah. But if you're not there yet, you'll never get there. <laughs> reckon? You're, so you're literally pretty much all or nothing then? I think, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. is, it, is it No, possible? everyone's different, yeah, of course Does it, it is. Work like that? If you like someone, yeah. yeah. I think, I think. If you, for example, if you like girl, yeah, and you date like just a couple of times, and you really like into each other, yeah, yeah. I think within two days. If she shows you like, oh yeah, I really want you, like I give you all this attention back. I love it. I did that. I never do that though. Have you ever done that? What after two days? (laughs) After a few days, it was like two days, like few couple of days, and you're on the same page. It's perfect. yeah. Yeah. Okay. Maybe I'm just tired of dating, <laughs> and I don't even dare but... uh, Well, what I'd say is the world would be an easier place if all women People were like, that. like just honest yeah. and straight to the point. Willing to put a little bit of effort because I have feeling that in this dating world, people just don't wanna put any <clears throat> effort in. They just don't. <clears throat> My experience. Or maybe I'm just too difficult. I don't know. You can't be too difficult. Like I don't know. What do you mean no effort? Like what like not no effort, like not too much effort. They don't try hard enough. They don't try hard enough. Go on, just elaborate on that because I'm fascinated. What <laughs> as in know. what would you like them to do then? What would you like them to do? Sometimes if I like guy, I tell them like okay, obviously they always want to sleep with you, that's your first aim, but then Do they? Yeah, of course they're your assholes. 
<laughs> but then if yeah. I want something, I will take advantage of it. Okay, so what happens if you want to sleep with him, though? Like? Yeah, I will do it. If I want to. What happens if you don't like him? If you don't like him. <laughs> no. What happens if you came onto the guy and he was like, I don't know if I want to have sex with you. Like, with breath in? No. I will be like traumatized. <laughs> <laughs> Never happens to me. Probably will not have sex with someone who doesn't want to have sex with me, right? <laughs> no, that never happened locally. Otherwise, I would be drunk. I would be embarrassed. I tell you what, but I will get it over probably, it. I think it turns women on. But anyway, my experience. Same with men. Yeah. Maybe. If you don't want you, you want us. If you show that we don't <clears throat> want you, you want us more. That's yeah. all. This gaming. Yeah, I know. It happened to me a couple of times. Well, when you, you liked a guy more. So, even, so a lot of times happened. I like guy, he liked me back. Then I don't. I stopped liking him and he liked me suddenly. I'm like, yeah, this is, you want half what you can't have. Mm. It's and true. It's, I think it works. It does. Like, yeah. It's maybe a little bit egoistic, but it, it, it is like that. You know why that is? It works like that. Because the power of goodbye is way stronger than actually the thought of losing something is so more powerful than the thought of gaining something because when you know you've got something you've got something when you've lost something it's even you don't know that you even you don't want it but if yeah. you know you don't you cannot have it anymore yeah you suddenly think oh shit, shit. i yeah. could have it yeah it's all fun and games isn't it yeah so don't fuck up basically <laughs> <laughs> anyway i think we're done high five high five well wow, that Boom. I need stretch. Yeah, sweet. So we, oh, so we cut it. I think that was all right, wasn't it? We had a bit of fun though. Yeah, but you have to cut it for just 10 minutes. Oh, 